Hi everybody, this is Celia Freeman um, coming to you from a podcast point of view. We're going to give it a shot. So basically, I wanted to give you guys two videos this week on my YouTube channel, but my computer decided to die on me. And my computer has all of my editing software on it, and I cannot even get the stupid thing to start. So I literally have nothing to work with here. So that's why I decided I'm going to just try to talk to you guys a little bit today and just give you something better than nothing, okay? You're all out there, I know it, and that's why I wanted to bring you a little bit of a video, a video today. So, as I said, I have no editing software, so what you get in this video, I'm gonna just have to give it to you, so bear with me through the cringy parts. You guys are awesome. Okay, so the topic for today's podcast is working from home for a first-timer. So basically, I'm pretty sure most to all of the world knows now that the coronavirus is hitting the USA and it's already hit tons and tons of other countries, which is very unfortunate and it's very scary. Um, the coronavirus two weeks ago to me when I first heard about it was something to just hear about because it wasn't in the USA. We were just hearing about it from other countries that were suffering from it. And now, fast forward two weeks, it's here, it's in the USA, and people are panicking. And I just want to address something in this situation. And the thing I like to address in this situation for this virus is that it is a scary thing. This is the first time that someone of my age has been through an epidemic, I guess you would say, which I don't think it's that big of a Okay, hear me out, hear me out. Um, so first off, the coronavirus is a serious virus. It's not something to joke about. It's not something to, to ignore and be like, eh, it's just a virus. This has unfortunately, very unfortunately, it's claimed lives, which is awful, which is why we're taking it so seriously now because it has claimed lives and it has affected families and people have been hurt by this thing. And, that's, and it's very quickly spreading, so that's why we're all freaking out now. Now, the thing I'd like to address is that instead of panicking, throwing everyone to the side and going to every store and buying them out of toilet paper and baby wipes and only thinking of us, this is a perfect opportunity to be thinking of others. Now, I know you're thinking, well, you might be thinking, okay, well, you know, I can't do that right now because I have a family to think about or I have this to think about. I just lost my job or I've been laid off or, you know, they sent me home. I don't know what I'm doing right now. That is awful. First off, I'm so sorry. And I do know people, personal people who are close to me who have unfortunately been laid off or have been told to work from home. I'm one of those. Um, things like that, or people who have no job now, like they're teachers and they have no job, their job is done. Um, but it's something right now that it's time to pull ourselves out of that panic and to realize that this situation could be a ton worse. I mean, the USA at the moment is going into a panic stricken mode because things have gone so fast with this whole virus and because we're taking big drastic precautions for it, it has been a very scary experience for many of us. Um, some of us, like the older generation, they're like, I've seen war. I mean, this is scary, but I've seen war. You can't really top that. So for us younger generation, this is probably the scariest thing we've seen. So that's why most of us are panicking so bad. But it's really not as bad as it could be. So we need to keep that in mind. The U.S. is uh, in a panic right now, but we really should be looking at it and going, okay, things are happening way too fast, but it's a good thing for right now because of the fact that we're trying our very hardest. The U.S. is trying our very hardest to avoid what all the other countries who've been through this disease and is still going through this disease has been through with it. We're trying to avoid being completely overwhelmed by the coronavirus, which is why we're taking such drastic measures on everything. Um, um, I was like, okay, where did I come from here? Okay, focus. So we aren't here to panic right now. We've already panicked. People have already bought tons of stuff out of stores, which, you know, it's done and over with, move on. 
But now it's time to focus on, okay, how can we get this virus under control and how can we help others with it? Because this isn't just about us. It's not just affecting the individual person. This is affecting everybody around us. This virus is really proving who works as a community and who doesn't, which is really interesting. People who are very strong knitted and who work as a community will pull through this virus a lot better than people who are willing to push each other around for toilet paper. It's just one of those things that once you start helping each other and you start thinking about each other, things come together a lot better. And that's why it's important to pull yourself out of that little hole that's come up because of panic and to say, hey, look, everything will be okay. This isn't the worst thing the US has ever been through. We will be fine. But now let's think about, okay, do I have food? Do I have toilet paper? Do I have the necessities that I need to live for the next week? Yes, okay, we're good. Let's think about other people in our lives who need the same thing. Now, like, for example, I have, I have a job and I work in a different town that I usually have to drive to and from. And now they have sent us all home but thankfully they've prepared for this situation because they saw it coming so quick and they've been able to provide us all with computers to work from home with, which I really, God bless my company for that because I'd be totally screwed if they fired me, totally screwed. So they didn't fire us. They just said, okay, look, we're going to try to adjust this to everyone's advantage as much as much possible. We're going to send as many people home so that we don't infect each other if we do get the virus. And that way you can work from home with all of our equipment you need. They didn't make us pay for anything. They were like, here's all the equipment. Here's how to use it. Go home, set up, and let us know when you're ready to start working again. So I really appreciate my company for that. They're an amazing company. Just for the fact that they're willing to take care of us to that extent. Now, I've heard a lot of stories like that. So amazing. Thank you to all those companies out there who's not just about them. It's about the employees. People really need that right now. Um, for the teachers out there, because I have a sister who is a teacher and a best friend who's also a teacher, they're out of a job practically right now. I mean, it's very hard because they one day went to work and the very next day were sent home and then said, oh, by the way, there's no longer any school. All the students were sent home. All the teachers were sent home. All the parents who have jobs, specific jobs were told you're going home. You're not coming back here because of the virus spreading. Some people were laid off. Some people have lost their job. It's awful. Things have just kind of tumbled out of control for some companies. And right now, it's not the time to yell and scream and hate people for that. We're all kind of in this panic zone. We're all kind of worried that we're not going to have something to come back to. But right now, we need to try to focus on helping each other. So like, for example, I get to work from home, which is great. But things I can do to help other people is what I'm trying to do right now is reach out to people and just be like, hey, are you okay? Do you need anything? I'm going to be doing this. Do you need anything here? Just reaching out to people and just making sure they're okay. Just do that. Today, if you have time, reach out to at least one person, even if you, like if they're especially in your family, just reach out to them and be like, are you okay? Is there anything I can do to help you? Because a little bit goes a long way. And the more we come together as a community for each other, the more we'll know we have each other's backs and the more we'll be able to fight this virus off quickly. Um, I would say a really good quote, but I can never remember the poor thing, so I won't be able to say it. But it was one of those quotes where it was like a castle or something divided cannot stand as well as something that's not divided. Something like that. It was from a good movie and a good book. Alas, I've butchered it. I'm sorry. But I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so don't panic. Um, think of other people right now. If you're in a sturdy, and I'm not talking like you're completely stable, you got money, you got it all figured out. I don't think many of us are in that area. We're all kind of panicking. But it's time to just draw back a little bit and be like, okay, I'm panicking. So I know other people are panicking. Is there anyone I can help? Um... Of course, wash your hands, proper hygiene. Please take care of yourselves. And although it's hard to like literally be like, oh yeah, I'm not going anywhere. And the government's like, don't do anything, stay home. 
avoid people if you can, like everything is kind of like, what? But they're saying it for a reason. So please just try to listen just for your own safety right now, okay? If we can get this virus stopped quickly, we'll be able to go back to our normal day lives in no time. If we fight against everything we're being told to do, of course things are going to go horribly wrong. Have a little bit of faith in your country right now, okay? And a faith in yourselves and your family and your people. There's people all around you who are going through, if not the same thing, something very similar to it. So have a little bit of confidence in everyone and just calm down, take it day by day, and we'll fight through this virus together. Togetherness and we will destroy this virus. Also, just putting this out here, but maybe it's time to go back to saying some prayers here. Um, as a Catholic, I think prayer is a very important thing and not just because, you know, God said to pray, but because prayer really does help pull you through horrible situations. And this might be one of those times to get back to prayer. Now, I'm not saying that you should only ever pray when you're in trouble because that's not always the way God works, but it's always a good time to start today, you know? It's never a bad time to start praying. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'm trying to think. I have my sticky note to keep me on topic here. Um, be kind, positive, and remember, there's always something good to look forward in a situation like this. Um, I say that because I've wondered what it'd be like to work from home. For example, I've always... I, it, I've, blah, 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 sorry. So I've worked at my job for three years and I've always driven there. I've never worked from home. And it's not a long trip, it's 45 minutes, which to some people is like, I drive like three hours to get to work. So I respect you with that and I'm not gonna say my job is hard. But it's always been something that I've wondered, like, oh, I wonder what it'd be like to work from home. So that's one way I've looked at the whole situation is just to be like, now I know. I've set up a whole little desk in my room. I've had this whole little area where it's just work dedicated and I actually kind of like working from home. Um, I get to see the sunrise. It blinds me half the time in my room. Um, I get to make my shakes right here at home instead of having to pre-make them the night before. If I'm hungry or thirsty, I just come over to the kitchen. I get to stay in my comfy PJs. Of course, this is not a PJ shirt. This is my actual hoodie that I wear outside, but I keep, keep my PJ pants on, which is so wonderful. It's wonderful. But I know my situation is not as easy as other situations. I have it really easy. i single, no kids, so I don't have to worry about things like that. But for you parents and teachers out there who are kind of being affected the most by this, if you don't have the virus, the ones who are being affected the most by, er, by it, in my opinion, are the teachers and the parents and the people who no longer have jobs because of it. Um, I mean, I can't really say Things like, oh, well, you know, there's a bright light in your world anywhere. You can always find that. But try your best to look at the situation and find something to appreciate more with it. Maybe you didn't appreciate your job enough. And now you're like, I, I appreciate it more now because I don't have it. Maybe you were kind of getting off of your job like you were losing your momentum in your job your your love and your passion for that job and now that you don't have it maybe it's time to pull out why you started this job what made you want to join that job pull out all those old papers since you're home look back on it and be like oh yeah for a teacher sometimes it's because they love teaching kids and maybe throughout years and years of being drilled and drilled and drilled and over pushing on some things, they've lost that love for it. So maybe it's a good thing that you're getting a break from it. And in the future, I hope that you get another job that's even better than the one you have now. Um, maybe it's time to rethink the direction your life is going. And this is a perfect opportunity to rethink that. I personally do not believe that the world is ending and that we're all doomed and it's all gonna be gloomy from here on out. I believe this virus is here to teach us something. And that in a few, hopefully a few weeks, if not a month, this virus will be out of our system and we'll either develop something to help cure it or at least found a way to fight it off the fastest way possible. I believe in our nurses and our med teams and 
all the science scientists out there in the world trying to solve this mystery. So I'm just going to give them time and pray that people who are being affected by this virus get over it soon. So if there's any way you can look at the situation and try to find a good part of it, focus on that. Your energy and the way you look at your life and the way the days go for you will be a lot happier for you and for people around you if you start looking at it in the better perspective. Nobody's perfect. Nobody has a perfectly happy life. There's always going to be bumps in the road. So it's time to look at that and go, okay, what can I take from this? What is God trying to teach me right now? And maybe that's just one way we need to look at it right now. Okay. So it's over my 15 minute limit that I gave myself. So I didn't talk your ears off. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to share you guys, share with you guys my thoughts on the virus and what we can do to make our lives better from it. And I do want to say real quick um, that I do want to say thank you to all the companies out there who are trying to make it work for everyone who they've had to do stuff like t send them home and stuff like that. I do want to thank our president for trying to find a way around this virus without hurting tons of people. Um, for all the nurses and doctors out there who are pushing 60 plus hours every single week just to find help to help people and things like that. And I just want to say thank you because this is a very stressful and hard time for them right now. We need to be patient with them and we need to remember they are people. They need love, they need time, and they need support. So let's be that support for these people and try to help everyone have a great day. You know, a smile here and there helps. A thank you goes a long way. And wash your hands. Always. Not just this year. Always. And if you like my hat, let me know because it's super cute. I wore it because I wanted to make someone smile today. So maybe my hat will work. And if you have one, let me know because they're adorable, aren't they? Pew, 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 pew. So bye everybody.